Have you ever thought to yourself, why on earth can't we just have iMessage on Android? Well, Blue Bubbles is an application that, believe it or not, actually achieves that very thing. Now, it's not as simple as just downloading the app and away you go. There is a fair bit of setup involved. And on top of that, the key step that will potentially make this a deal breaker for some is that it actually requires a Mac and an Apple ID to work. But once you go through the entire setup process, surprisingly, it actually works amazingly well. The app also looks quite similar to iMessage and it supports viewing read and delivered timestamps, muting and archiving conversations. And with a little extra setup, you can also enable features like quick reactions, typing indicators, and even message effects. Now, it's obviously not quite as seamless as Apple just making iMessage available on Android themselves, but the fact that it's free and that it even works in the first place is incredible. And staying in the realm of iOS for a minute, next up we have Dynamic Spot, which is, in my opinion, the best app so far to replicate iOS's Dynamic Island functionality. And I say the best app because if you look on the Google Play Store, there are already seemingly hundreds of versions of the same app, and I've tested a lot of them, so you wouldn't have to. And after doing so, I realized that none of them are even half as good as Dynamic Spot. And that's because not only does it have really clean and fluid style animations, but it also functions the best of a lot, allowing you to tap to launch into the full screen version of the app or long press to launch this expanded card style widget. And even though it sounds really simple, the fact that you can simply tap outside of the widget area to close the card and that it also auto closes on its own after a few seconds, which is exactly how it works on iOS. Those reasons alone are enough to make it better than any other competing option, in my opinion. Oh, and even better than that, you can also customize all of this plus more within the app settings. All right, next up today is Dual Camera Record. And as the name so helpfully indicates, this is a really neat app that lets you capture videos with both your selfie and rear cameras at the same time. And that's kind of it. You can of course switch which camera is set as the primary camera. You can also turn on or off your phone's flash. And if you upgrade to the pro version, you can even set custom filters for a slightly more unique look. But aside from that, the app just works really well, and I can see this being really useful in a huge number of scenarios. Following that is Minutia, perhaps one of the most fascinating concepts for a social media app I've ever come across, mainly because it's actually really an anti-social media application. Now, hear me out. On first impressions, the app's concept does sound quite a bit like another popular app doing the rounds lately called Be Real, in that at one specific time, every single day, every single user of the app is notified to capture a photo of whatever is in front of them. But believe it or not, Minutia was actually developed first. And then on top of that, this app has no likes, no comments, and it doesn't even have usernames. But what's even cooler is that at the end of a four year period, should you choose to use the app for that long, you can actually choose to get your photo memories printed in book form. And whilst I'm quite a bit away from that period, given I've only just started using the app, I think it's a fantastic goal to work towards and one of the rare instances of a digital application offering you a real tangible product that you can hold in your hands. Essentially, if you like the concept of be real, but you want a more antisocial version, then you should totally check out Minutia. After that is one for KLWP, and it has been quite some time since I featured a KLWP preset on the channel, but this one is so well designed with lots of great options packed in that I thought it was well worth a mention. Now, if you haven't heard of KLWP before, it is an app from the same developers as KWGT, but instead of letting you make widgets, KLWP lets you create entire home screen setups that you can then set as live wallpapers. And one for KLWP is a pack of KLWP presets, and it comes with eight beautifully designed home screens to choose from, some that are really minimal, others that are more complex, but every single one of them is visually striking and they all pack in some really cool hidden functionality alongside some slick animations to go with. Oh, and what's amazing is that the developer of this app has been super generous in giving each of my channel members a promo code. So if you like the sound of getting this app completely for free, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the next week or so of this video going live. And that's it. Okay then, next app on the list today is Taskbar, a fantastic open source application that has huge potential for leveling up how you use your phone. 
With the app installed and enabled, you'll then get this little toggle on the bottom of your display, which when tapped, will open up a taskbar kind of similar to the one you might find on a Windows PC. And on this taskbar, you'll find a scrollable list of recently used apps. Plus you can also tap this icon here to open up a complete list of your applications, similar to an app drawer. But then even better than that is that if you long press this icon and tap on settings, you can then customize virtually every aspect of this taskbar, including which icon pack to use, which apps to show on the scrollable list or in the app drawer, as well as what the taskbar even looks like itself. The app certainly isn't the most glamorous and could probably do with some refining in regards to animations and design, but you cannot argue with its functionality. And then we have SMS Backup and Restore. And I actually had to double check that I'd never featured this app on the channel before because it is one that I've been using for as long as I can remember. So for context, anytime you set up a new phone, you'll get the option to transfer all of your data from a previous phone, no problem. And in today's day and age of most of the apps we use relying on cloud-based services, anytime we switch back to a phone that we've already used, we'll find that most of our data is already there, except for SMS chat history. And so that's where SMS backup and restore comes in. All you need to do is back up your messages on your previous phone to Google Drive or Dropbox, or even just locally if you like. Then you open up the app on the device you're moving back to, tap on restore, select where to restore it from, hit restore, and away you go. The app will automatically check for and skip any duplicates, which is amazing. And you can even set the app up so that it only restores messages from a certain date. As I said, I use this app several times a year to transfer my messages between devices and it works flawlessly every single time. Now, if you're an app developer or an app designer looking to showcase your apps in a beautiful and creative way, then App Mockup is an application you'll find outrageously useful. So you know those fancy images you can find on Play Store listings for apps like Duolingo or Spotify? They're pretty cool, right? Well, App Mockup is a tool that helps you to create your own versions of those, but really quickly. This app is filled to the brim with stacks of templates and layouts to choose from, or you can even design your mockups from scratch if you like, but whichever way you go, you'll quickly have a suite of impressive images that'll make your otherwise fairly dull looking screenshots look amazing. The free version does limit you to a certain number of exports, so keep that in mind, but it's still an incredible app and well worth a look. All right, note-taking apps are a dime a dozen these days, so it often takes something very special to make one of them stand out, but note to self has done just that. So instead of being just a regular old note-taking app like so many of its counterparts, note to self actually makes itself unique by using a chat-like interface for creating notes. You just tap the plus button here, give your note a name if you like, and then from there, you'll be taken to the messaging interface for that particular note. You can then type out a note, you can record voice notes, you can even add attachments if you like. And as you can see, it functions almost exactly like a real SMS chat would with timestamps for each note, animations like a messaging app, and it's actually really enjoyable to use as just a note taking app. The app also places a strong emphasis on privacy, so all of your notes stay on your device and never get transferred to any server, but you can create offline backups to transfer your notes to another device if need be, so pretty great stuff. And so finally today we have Book Morning Routine, and this app has a really unique approach to waking you up in the morning that I just couldn't not feature it in today's video. The app promises to improve your morning routine and sleep cycles by waking you up with gentle alarm sounds every single day and then motivating you to open your eyes by presenting you with fascinating and immersive short stories that you'll really enjoy reading. But then beyond that super cool and unique approach to what is effectively an alarm clock application, the app itself just has such a beautiful design with gorgeous animations and sound effects to go with that it's worth trying out even if you never plan on using it as an alarm app. It comes with a handful of stories available for free, after which point you will need to purchase new stories. But again, I just love the concept and the design, so huge hats off to the team behind it. But that is it. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. And as mentioned, if you wanna pick up one of those one for KLWP promo codes, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the next week or so of this video going live. And that is really it. And a big thanks to the developer behind the one for KLWP application for giving each of my channel members a promo code.
On top of that, if you want an easy way to see more information about each of the apps featured in not only today's video, but also in every single top Android apps video I've ever made over the past seven or so years, then you should totally check out my new application called Shelf, which you can find linked down below. And just one other reminder, which is that my Discord server is now public. So if you want to join that really cool community, then I've also linked that below. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.